Inverse Variation Word Problems Problem number 1. The number of hours constructing a deep well is inversely proportional as the number of men doing it. It takes 10 hours for two men to construct. How many men are needed if they need to finish it in 4 hours? First, we are going to represent uh, by y the number of men. So, y will be the number of men. And then we are going to represent by x the number of hours. So, the initial value of y and x is that it takes 10 hours for two men. So y here will be equal to 10 while x is equal to 2. Okay, so we are then going to find for the constant of proportionality or k. Our equation will be y multiplied by x equals to k. Our y is 10. Multiply this by 2. So, 10 times 2 is the value for k, and that is 20. We will then find for the second values of y and x. How many men are needed? So, the number of men, or the second value for y, is the unknown. So, this will be represented by the question mark. So, our y here is the unknown when x is equal to 4 or 4 hours. So, to find for y, we will use the same equation which is y multiplied by x equals to k. Our y is the unknown and our x is 4. So, this will be 4y and our constant of proportionality is 20. To find for y, we need to cancel out 4. So to cancel out 4, divide both sides of the equation by 4. This will be 4y multiplied by 1 over 4, that is 4y all over 4. And this will be 20 times 1 over 4, that is 20 divided by 4. So we have here 4 divided by 4, that is equal to 1. And 1 multiplied by y, that will give us y. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So our y here is 5 men. So 5 men are needed to finish constructing the deep well within 4 hours. Problem number 2. When riding a bus at 55 kilometers per hour average speed, it takes Mercel three hours to reach his destination. How long will it take him if he travels by van at 670 kilometers per hour? Okay, so first we need to represent as y the number of or the average speed. So y will be equal to the average speed. And then x will be the number of hours. So this will be the number of hours. So we will get the initial values of y and x. So in the problem, it states that it takes Mercel three hours to reach his destination at an average speed of 55 kilometers per hour. So our y here, our equation rather, will be y multiplied by x equals 2k, since this is an inverse variation problem. So the value for y now will be the first average speed, and that is 55. Multiply this by x, or the number of hours, and that is 3 hours equals to k. Okay, so that you won't get lost, we will put here y is equal to 55 when x is equal to 3. Okay, so let us continue. The constant of 
proportionality now will be 55 multiplied by 3 that will give us 165 and then we will find the second values of y and x so continuing reading the problem we have how long will it take so how long this means that the value for y or the value for x here is the unknown so our x will be the unknown and our y will be equal to 70 kilometers per hour there so how do we, how do we find for x again we will use the equation y multiplied by x equals to k our y is 70 and our x is the unknown our k is 100 65 so to can to find for x we have to cancel out 70 so to cancel out 70 divide both sides of the equation by 70 so 70 x times 1 over 70 that will be 70 x all over 70 and we have 165 times uh, 1 over 70 that will be 165 divided by 70 now 70 divided by 70 that is equal to 1 so 1 multiplied by x that will be equal to x and 165 divided by 70 that will be equal to 2.36 and our unit here will be the number of hours so it will take 2.36 hours okay if Marcel will travel at 70 kilometers per hour problem number three a group of 10 men decided to rent a house for $100 for one week stay but two of them got sick and could no longer join how much would each man pay for the rent first we need to okay so we need to have y and x so our y here will be the group of men the number of men and our x will be the contribution or the payment of each man payment of each man okay so let us first find the y and x or the first values of y and x in, on our sentence a group of 10 men so there are 10 men so y here the first value for y will be 10 and then rent a house for $100 for one week stay now how are we going to find for x so to find for x since it is $100 divided by 10 men so this will be 100 all over 10 so our x here is ten dollars so we need to solve for the value of k or the constant of proportionality so our equation our equation since they are inversely proportional this will be y multiplied by x equals to k our y is 10 multiply that by x which is also 10 so this will be 10 times 10 equals to k so our constant of proportionality will be 100 and then we will find for the second values of y and x okay two of them got sick and could no longer join so this means that our y here will be the 10 men minus 2 who got sick this will be 8 and 
the second value for x, how much would each man pay? So this means that x here or the amount of payment of each man is unknown. So this will now be the unknown. So let us find for the value of x. Again, our equation will be y multiplied by x equals to k. Our unknown is x, and the value for y is 8. Our k is 100. Now, to find for x, again, we need to cancel out 8. So to cancel out 8, divide both sides of the equation by 8. So this will be 8x times 1 over 8. That will be 8x all over 8. And this will be 100 times 1 over 8. That is 100 divided by 8. So 8 divided by 8, that is equal to 1. So 1 times x, that is equal to x. And we have 100 divided by 8. That will give us 12.5. So since X is the payment of each man, so this will be $12.5. So this is the payment for of each man for the rent. So each man will pay. So X is equal to $12.5 is our final answer. Problem number four. Clark, on his first drive, traveled from home to his destination for six hours with an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. What should be his average speed if he wants to get there within five hours? So first, we need to represent Y as the number of hours. Okay, so this will be the number of hours. And we need to represent x as the average speed. So the initial values of y and x. So our y is equal to 6 hours. So this will be 6. And that is 6 when x is equal to 60 kilometers per hour. So this will be 60. Okay. So we need to find the constant of proportionality or k. Our equation will be yx is equal to k. Our y is 6 multiplied by x which is 60 equals to the constant of proportionality which is k. So 6 multiplied by 60 that will give us 360. So our k will be equal to 300. 60. And now we will find for the second values of y and x. Okay, let's continue to read. What should be his average speed? So the average speed is the unknown. So that is x. So our x will be the unknown. And the value for y will be 5 hours. So this is y is equal to 5. Okay, so we are now going to solve for the value of x. Let us use the same equation, and that is yx is equal to k. Our value for y is 5, our x is the unknown, and k is 360. To solve for x, again, we need to cancel out 5. To cancel out 5, just divide both sides of the equation by 5. So we have here 5x times 1 over 5, that is 5x divided by 5, equals to 360 times 1 over 5, that's 360 divided by 5. So we have 5 divided by 5, 5 divided by 5, that is 1. And 1 multiplied by x, that is equal to x, 
and we have 360 divided by 5 that will give us 72 so 72 is the average speed so its units will be its unit will be 72 kilometers per hour so Clark must travel an average speed of 72 kilometers per hour to reach his destination within five hours okay so let's change that this so that it will be clear let's make that as seven so 72 kilometers per hour problem number five three fishermen decided to contribute individually to purchase a boat worth one thousand five hundred dollars they decided to let other fishermen join them so they can lower their payments how many fishermen will they need so that each one will pay three hundred dollars so first we need to represent y so we will represent y as the number of fishermen And we will represent x as the amount of each free amount to be paid by each fisherman. Okay, so we need to find the initial value of y and x the initial values of y and x so three fishermen our y here will be three when x is equal to they can they will purchase a both boat worth one thousand five hundred dollars so x here which is the amount to be paid by each fisherman this will be one thousand five hundred divided by the number of fishermen which is 3 so x will be 500 okay and then we will find for k so again we will use the equation y multiplied by x equals to k our y is 3 multiplied by 500 and that will be equal to k so our k is also 1500 and the initial values of y and x our y will be how many fishermen so our y here will be the unknown when x is equal to 300 so let us find the value of y again we will use the equation y x is equal to k our y is the unknown our x is 300 y equals to 1500 okay so 300 okay so let's see so 1500 find for y we need to cancel out 300 so to cancel out 300 just divide both sides of the equation by 300 so we had here 300 y times 1 over 300 that's 300 y divided by 300 this will be equal to 1500 times 1 over 300 that will be 1 5 divided by 300 so 300 divided by 300 that is equal to 1 and 1 multiplied by y is y and 1500 divided by 300 that is equal to 5 so the amount or the number of fishermen this will be 5 fishermen so th the number of fishermen needed so that each one will pay 300 for the amount of 1,500 is five fishermen. So they need five fishermen to contribute $300 each 
so that the total will be 1,500. 